so what is up everyone this is Kane here welcome back to tech Karen youtube channel as you already know that redmi note 9 pro cortana device already finally got the android 11 update they got another incremental update which is based on new 12.0.4.0 stable version it's available as an india stable so if you are using india variant which is redmi note 9 pro cortana then this might be available for you and you can install this update as an ota or you can install it from a custom recovery i try to install it from the custom recovery but you can install as an OTA also the link for the OTA update including that recovery update both of the links are in the description this update includes some features and if you want to update OT via OTA how you can do that as you can see additional update features you need to enable that after that you need to simply click on three dots and here you will see the choose update package you need to click this one apply that OTA update file and you're good to go you can install this if you are not getting that OTA update in the updater section if you got that that it's great but if you go to the what's new option that what is the change log as you can see updated android security patch to february 2021 increase system security but i saw very weird thing that they are saying that updated android security patch to february 2021 but let me show you one thing we have the android security update of 1st of march 2021 which is kind of very weird i didn't saw this i was not expecting so this might be a buggy update because yes they are showing that we are getting february security patch but we are getting march security patch in reality they are showing that so I'm not sure what is actually right and what is actually not but yes it's based on android version 11 and yes this is right it is yes android version 11 and we already got android 11 so there's no issues here no confusions here you can simply remove this card it's better to remove this card because this kind of things always buggy and yes it is buggy in this everybody is showing that it is a march security patch so not sure if it is actually march security patch or not and if you want to update it you can if you don't want to update this it's just up to you these are the things you get in this latest Redmi Note 9 Pro Cortana update based on MIUI 12.0.4.0 Android 11 update. It's Android 11 but it's not MIUI 12.5. So all those MIUI 12.5 features as always missing from here the new power menu. Everything is missing from here if you're looking for the new volume bar. Everything is not that it's everything from MIUI 12. Yes, it's Android 11, but MIUI 12.5 features are not there. Not a single feature from MIUI 12.5. So this might be a preparatory update because MIUI 12.5 is stable. Android 11 is coming very, very soon. Stay tuned. You will get the MIUI 12.5 stable Android 11 for the Redmi Note 9 Pro users. Right now, if you talk about the camera features, I previously shown you some camera features in Redmi Note 9 Pro, other devices, other rooms, but in this update, you don't get any kind of features we have the 48 megapixel short video panorama documents slow motion time lapse ai watermark and that's all no new ui as you can see no options there no clone mode no vlog mode and nothing else because minua 12.5 has a lot of camera features but in this update we don't get any features this is a minui 12 based on android version 11 for the redmi note 9 pro users if you are a MIUI lover, you can simply install this build on your device but if you are looking for some interesting features, you might need to unlock your bootloader and install custom MIUI ROMs with some interesting features. Like that if you are looking for some other things in lock screen etc. Nothing to talk about, everything is same here, display has a new light mode dark mode options which is now kind of old which is not actually new font text size i have a comparison video for me 12 android 10 versus me 12 android 11 so if you haven't checked it out yet you can give it a try you can check out that which are the major differences you get in both of these updates for other devices also sound assistant yes this is good and yes it's working perfectly fine i tried and tested on youtube etc it's working great and the first time whenever i use that I was not actually, I didn't knew this feature that what is this actually and after that, after using it for some time, now I finally got to know what is this feature and why it is quite good and in kind of trending things, it's good. Have vibrate additions and additional settings, sound effects, everything same here, nothing else and nothing new, new, no boot sound options also available there because it's MIUI 12, it's not MIUI 12.5 as I previously told you. Notifications and control center, home screen, etc. The launchers has same kind of things. App board, gestures, lock home screen layout. Everything is kind of the same. Arrange items and recents. You can simply adjust that. The new horizontal recents are still there. 
दीज आर दिंग्स यू गेट इन दिस लेटेस्ट एंड्रॉइड इलेवन अपडेट फॉर द रेडमी नोट नाइन प्रो कोई ध्यान एंड डिवाइस एंड इफ यू इंस्टॉल दिस लिंक इज इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन फॉर ओ टी एंड रिकवरी बोथ थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग डोंट फिगेट टू लाइक एंड शेयर दिस वीडियो फिर टू सब्सक्राइब मी थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग एट बाय